This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Renaming a virtual machine is actually pretty easy. We can right click on a virtual machine. So let's say I want to rename this one and go down to rename. Let's say I want to call it uh, prod server 01. I'm going to click OK. And it's renamed. Now, the important thing to note is that it does not change the computer name of the op within the operating system of this virtual machine. It also does not change the underlying directory structure or the file name. All it does is change the name that shows up here in vCenter. So if I go over to related objects and select data stores, I can see what data stores this virtual machine is on. It's on data store one and one in the parentheses here. If I click on it, it'll go ahead and let me browse it. We can see that server zero one is still the folder name and still the VMX file name, still the VMDK file name. So it didn't change the underlying uh, folder names or, or file names. And that may or may not be important. Uh, I can tell you if things start to get pretty inconsistent with the file name versus the actual virtual machine name, it can, it can get confusing. But if we go back over to hosts and clusters here and I right click on it, go to edit settings, and expand out my hard disk, I can see exactly what the file name is, the VMDK for this particular hard disk. So I can, I can find the information, but the fact that this name is different from the virtual machine name makes it a little bit difficult. Now if we do migrate it, you just right click on it, I'll go through the migration really quick. Let's move it over to ESXi01. Select our data store. Just keep the network the same. Okay, the migration is completed. Now let me go up here and refresh. We can see the data store has changed. That's related to this virtual machine. We take a look at it. We can see the folder name is now prod server one. So when we migrated it, it changed the folder name to what the virtual machine name was. And it also changed the VMDK and the VMX file names. So that's one way we can get our names consistent with our virtual machine is if we migrate it while it's powered off.